Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to the third and final match between myself and the YouTuber Dav Plays, where today we'll be playing as the Loyal and Fierce Empire and we are up against the green skins. Now this one was the opportunity for Dav to use the new units we had in the first round um, like the Great Goblin Shaman on a big Arachnox Spider, the Immortals, the Black Box of Shorten's Axes and river trolls and if it is he forgot to bring the other two so we just got the great goblin the goblin great shaman but he has gone for a lovely themed army he's got mostly spiders pretty much all spiders and night goblins so we'll go over this quickly we've got the death creepers here and a couple units of forest gob um forest goblin spider rider archers there we go on the far flank over here which is just about to be ambushed quite nicely we have some forest goblin spider riders Couple units of them, led by Goblin Big Boss. I believe he's also on a spider. Um, his main line here, as you can see, we have Night Goblins. Couple units of them. Yep, three units, and then the Night Goblins. That'll be the AP Kalunis. Um, don't know why it still doesn't come up with their name, but never mind. And we have another couple of False Goblin Spider Riders here, and a Goblin Big Boss. And this force is led by not one, but two Arachnox Spiders. One being read by a great goblin shaman and the other one is the arachnoid queen so we will be having little spiders being spawned everywhere what have i brought well on this flank doing a very nice job ambushing in the woods we have two units of pistoliers they'll do a fantastic job cleaning up these spiders while they're not paying attention dab doesn't quite realize this is happening yet which is glorious we do have a front line of a spearmen, four units of spearmen, then behind them three units of halberdiers. Oh, the spearmen are off shields as well. So those archers are going to be pinging off shields, while the heavier infantry is going to be at the back here. We then have two units, well, sorry, three units of free company militia with a huntsman general. So the theme I was sort of going here was it was mostly just like a common army, like they were like in charge of a town. Not a big city or anything. This is kind of like all they've got. And the goblins have been raiding them. And they finally had enough. And are taking them on. Anyway, so that's the theme. That's why it's a lot of just basic troops and that. We also have a light wizard on a pegasus. Who was just kind of nearby at the time. And we got the warrior priest. Who is a lead in the demi griff knights of hellbirds. Very nice. Two units of them. So I've gone for a very nice solid M line here. Look, they are going for the spearmen. But... That's absolutely fine. They can do that. They're just pinging off the shields. Not done as much damage as I was hoping for them, but they will be a constant harassment and pressure. The, not, the goblins are moving onto this far right flank here, and we are now charging in. Of course, the spiders, being what they are, are just going to run away. But that's fine. I wanted to get into combat as quickly as possible, because I knew he was just going pure goblins. He did say. What's the numbers like? Um, Actually, I outnumber him. Oh, there goes the Fanatics, though. Straight through the Spearmen and Hell. But look at the damage they've done over here, guys. That is absolutely insane. That's like half the health gone. And then comes the next group straight into them. Oh, good grief. The mess. Enter the free cut. Those Fanatics just done so much damage to the front line. It's unbelievable. But we do have the demi Grove Knights getting in there. The Warrior Priest as well. Doing buffs. Raining fire upon them. Pistol is getting into the back position here. But our backline has been completely compromised at this point, And the Light Wizard's being smacked up. But we do seem to be winning the main front line. We are actually beating the Goblins. Even though we got beaten badly. The Arachnor Queen has been pinned down by um, the uh, Light Wizard. But we do have these spiders in the back here. So Dav's got those reinforcements. But we've got all these free company militia doing a lot of AP damage against them. Over the cavalry. A completely running rampage, guys. Warrior Priest as well. Doing a fantastic job. And the Pistol is just picking them off as the Demigriff Knights smite all those that are unworthy. And actually barely taking any damage for that. Spearman here have broken. We've got Itchy Nation being dropped. Some free company with this are running. We do have some Hatchlings as well. Spiders are moving into the back. But the Helberdeers getting in there. That's where they needed to be. Over here, we are hopefully going to beat them. But if he can get another unit of fanatics going, we're in trouble. We really need to take the Night Goblins out before that. Do have some spearmen just stood here. The, uh, there we go. The spiders have made it into the back lines. But these aren't handgunners. They're free militia. So they will do all right in close combat. They won't just break like handgunners would. 
Um, I'm just keeping an eye on that for Fanatics. But where's the Demi Griffinites? That's what we really need. Um, they're getting themselves positioned at the back here. And they come as well. And they are coming through the go Great Goblin Sherman. If we can take him out. But the Huntsmaster General has actually been... Oh, no, he's running now. I think he was terrified. So as soon as they moved away. If he kept the Ragnarok Speak Queen there, he would have probably made him run. But our front lines are now being overwhelmed by just sheer number of spiders. Another net there on the Queen. Mainly because I didn't want her joining. I wanted the help it is. And the Demi Griffin. I should just have a good time. The back line though has been completely cleared out. There's another group of fanatics going straight through the Demi Griffin. I just don't seem to be doing much damage though. They are taking hits, but... In the cup. Oh, just as I bunch them up. Itchy nuisance gets dropped on the group. Nice blast there to try and take them out. We've now got Wark going. The Warrior Priest got carried away, but is now coming back. Pistol is skirmishing with the Forest Goblin Spider Riders. And don't forget, guys, and this is to decide who wins this best out of three. Very important. So this main line here is breaking the Demi Griffin Knights have been terrorized. But look how much health he's got. He's got less than 2,000 health left. He is bre wavering as well. Warrior Priest going. And we do have the pistol. There's a full strength. But what I'm doing is I'm getting my Empire Troops. They're all rallying about here. So I'm getting them all to freshen up. Yep, they're all starting to rally. Got some troops over here. Though I don't expect them to last long because they're there. But... This um, wizard is doing a great job trying to snipe them out. The warrior priest gets in the middle there. And the pistoliers are coming around. They need to try and get them. But the problem is they keep disappearing from my um, side. And as you see over here, while all this is happening, the empire getting what little strength we've got there. They've only got 342 left. But they've only got 400. Look, this is where I really wanted to sell fire. Right in the middle of this. Pistoliers, though, are being chased away by these damn... Archers that just one break will go away. Very irritating. The Bright Wizard does fall back to the line to help with these shit. We do have some Night Goblins um, just kind of walking along there. They're having a good time. Going to get some shots off there from the free company, Melissa. But look at this brave lineup, guys. It's everything we've got left. Over here, the spiders are going for the spearmen. Um, try and stop them from regrouping. And the warrior priest is going, oh, look at that. Nice shot from the huntsman generals where the warrior priest is going. So, and the free company militia gets some shots off as well. So they're quickly trying to fall back here. I'm trying to get the pistol this to come around and get behind. Because if they can snipe the two arachnox spiders, we're good. Which Seriously, we can probably help them. But Bad's power is in his favour. There goes another blast. Is it going to hit? No, mostly missed. Our numbers, they outnumber us by nearly 200 goblins. But we do have some shots going off here. And they are starting to waver. Don't forget, these guys cause fear. Oh, but in comes the fanatics. But it looks like they're just going to go for the gap. But the main combat has now been joined. Where's the pistol this? Pistol this, get back here, you fools. Looks like the Crown of Command have been used on the Arachnal Queen because she's now unbreakable. Demi Grunas charging in though. Only got 800 health. Spearman over there trying to get... I'm pretty much just trying to use what few units I can left. There goes a sofa on this nice big group. But the Demi Grunas are starting to break. It's not looking good. Pistolers are now finally moving into position. We're trying to do... And there she goes. The Bright Wizard gets the kill. The Arachnal Queen is now down. But is it too little too late? The Huntsmart General has actually done a runner. In comes from the last of the Hatchins to revenge their mother. Um, and in comes the Great Goblin Shaman as well. And here it is not looking good. We're desperately trying to hold out. But the pistol is with what little ammunition are left. Going to try and get in and kill their general. We are losing ground though. Unfortunately the whole army starts to break. Nothing can stop this tide of goblins and spiders. It is... Absolutely horrific to behold. In comes the shots though. Look at that nice volley. But now he's got in the... Oh! And that was a good hit there by the Bright Wizard. Only less than 500 shot hits left. Can we take him out? He is wavering. But they're ch he's chasing the Warrior Priest. In comes the Bright Wizard to try and finish him off. Desperately. The Pistolers have been stopped in their tracks. And I don't think they'd be able to hold unfortunately. 
I don't think there's anything left for the Empire. I think it is literally, yeah, just those troops left. And yet, yeah, they're all breaking now, unfortunately. So does the Brovin. And that is a win for Darth Plays, even though he is actually broken. <laughs> What an absolutely insane back and forth game, but absolutely fantastic. Great themes here, you know, they're just doing the state troops and some of the guys, and him having all his spiders and that, and trying out the new great gob, um, goblin, great shaman. Fantastic battle. I can't believe we outnumbered him as well, that's quite funny. But, unfortunately, like the free company Melissa got shot down quite quickly. I think my front line was good, like the spearmen to take the shots and then the halberdiers to charge. All that anti large really cost him. Um, because all the stuff, obviously, apart from the Night Goblins, everything counts as large. So I got a bonus hit in it, which is absolutely fantastic. But that is it, guys. That means Darth Plays wins this best out of three, 2 1. But absolutely fantastic games and a great pleasure to have him on here. And um, this will be actually the last Shadow versus the, the World series for this side of Christmas and New Year. So guys, if you don't really watch my campaign videos and this will be the last video you'll be watching, wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, whatever you want to call it. Um, and hopefully, you know, next year we'll have some more wins and more YouTubers, more subscribers and all that. So guys, if you are interested, anyone can take part in the series, join my Discord, link in the description below. You can challenge me personally. I've already got a couple of people lined up that were too busy for this side of um, New Year to play. So we've already got some people lined up for next year. If you want to be a part of that, do just, you know, message me, let me know. And do comment below your thoughts on these two armies, your thoughts on the battle. I thought this was a great way to finish a great um, series out of three. Um, so yeah, do comment below about that. Like the video if you enjoyed the battle and subscribe to the channel for more of this goodness that we've got going on here. These best out of three shadow versus the world. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you for the next one. Till then guys, take care.